the hair's out. And you know what else needs to be out? Your wallets. Because send it to me. I will not scam you. Just so you know. Baby. Stop it. Get some help. Oh, my. I don't have an excuse. All I know is that I was doing it for him. And it was for our future. This woman has put herself in danger so that's all an for excuse. her internet boyfriend. I didn't have anyone else in my life except my kids. Well, they've disowned me. Sandra's family cut ties after the FBI contacted her about mysterious boxes of iPhones, laptops, and piles of cash she had been receiving on behalf of her internet lover. They were sending brand new Apple computers to me, and it was a small box full of $5,000 cash. She's even been evicted from her home. Can my kids pay my rent? Three different times. Will Sandra see the truth about this man? You're in love with him, so. I think it's more a habit. Or will she continue to believe him? Stick around <laughs> and find out. Real quick, guys. Don't forget to oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Your uh, comment and like could help stop someone from being We're signing off the new Let's year with a bang. It. Hey, Sandy. How's it going? It's going. Nice to meet you, Sandy. Nice to meet you. Tell us about yourself. I'm 77. I have a son and two daughters. And I have a grandson and two granddaughters. So how's your past relationships? I've been married three times and three divorces, but they all found someone else they wanted. I've been single 24 years. Tell me about online dating. What do you think about it? And why did you turn there? The thing that got me started is my daughter met a guy online and they talked for a year and a half and they've now been married 23 years and have two kids. Sure. After watching her daughter's relationship grow from the internet mm -hmm. onto marriage, Sandra decided to create a dating profile and try her luck Makes online. sense. I met him on eDate. His right. name was Michael Flanders. Flanders. And it said, if you'd like a picture, let me know. So I... Right. Stop right there, okay? Because if your first message is, hello, I'd like to chat, sure, whatever. You could, you know, sprinkle a bit of riz in there, but not going to hold it against you. If you would like a photo of me, just let me know. That, I'm sorry, but that's weird. No? Is it just me that thinks that's weird? Because if I message someone and say, hey, would you like a photo of me? I'd probably be incarcerated right now. Free the Brodies. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Also, I love how Michael has what I presume is like some kind of Snapchat filter on his picture. Get a grip, Michael. And a request for his picture. You're and dirty, back, Sandra. And then we started just talking online. <laughs> we talked every day in the mornings, in the afternoons, at night. Hi, how are you? Uh, and oh. we, of course, asked, are you married? How many times have you been married? Uh, you know, kids, this, that, and the other, all the personal stuff. In the beginning, it's not really someone I would have chosen to date. Right. But he grew on me. He was average weight, about six feet tall. How do you know his weight? Well, green eyes. He had a short haircut. So you were attracted to this man? Very much. More attracted to him from the way he treated me. You know, he'd say the right thing, and it, it didn't take me long to fall for him. Oh, we... So how long have you been talking to him? Four years, almost. But we would talk on the phone, and he was originally supposedly from Slovenia. Right. That's why he had an accent. Right. We'd eat breakfast together, uh, we'd eat lunch together, we'd eat dinner together, and then talk in the evening. Not how you spell spaghetti, All but... of the sweet things you say, like honey and sweetheart. Wow. Baby Boo was his name for me in the beginning. Are you in love with him? Yes, I was. I think I still am. Okay, so you're confused. Um, he's a habit. Well, at that time, too, I was still talking to other guys. He was in the heart. The other ones weren't. Oh! The other ones were just... Sandra's a playgirl. I've been talking to other guys. Michael can wait. <laughs> Get a grip of yourself, Sandra. Except don't. You know, actually do talk to other people, but do it in real life because it's not safe, the internets.
And that's not exclusive to the older generation, by the way, because I've seen one where a younger woman actually gets scammed by Chris Brown. So just in general, internet is not a good place. It has some positives, such as, you know, you get to see me. <laughs> a little bit of, shut up. Just the positives are you actually do get to meet incredible people, such as the people who have supported me on this journey of YouTube things. Play the video. He was in the heart, the other I ones waffled. weren't. The other ones were just play toys. <laughs> he was my main guy, I guess. Also, you do have- I mean, that doesn't sound like somebody you love though. I know, but he finally got me down to where it was just him. What did he do to right. get you down to just him? I just got tired of talking to other guys. Tired of being player. Yeah, I got, I got, well, I mean, I was, let's see. I didn't have anyone else in my life except my kids. Right, okay, I can understand that. And you want to feel the romantic side of things, the whole, right? The romantic whole. And innuendo, you can feel yourself. Ooh, if you get tired of talking to all the others, and just settle, set, settle, I sounded proper British there, settle for someone else just because you're tired of talking to the others. In Drew's words, I don't think you love this person. You got tired of being a play girl. Oh, player. Sandra's a player. Who would have thought that? I've pressed play, didn't. And what are they saying? Well, they've disowned me. This relationship with this guy has kind of affected your relationship with your family. Yes. Is it worth it? Nope. So these other guys, are they asking you for money? No. Well, um, they were, but I was saying no. So what? You don't think it's kind of weird that every single guy you met online is asking you for money? Mm, yeah, they're, they were scammers. I stopped talking to them when they started asking for money. But Michael was nothing like the other men she was conversing okay. with online. He wasn't asking her for money. He even offered her a job. Okay. We started stop right there. I do I do like Drew's questioning there. That's a little bit more firm, a little bit more trilogy media style of handling the victims because babying them is not going to do anything because they used to say oh are you still in love with uh, their name inserted? Do you still in love with Daniel, for example? Or how's your relationship with Daniel? Stop feeding them the bullshit and it, as if it's real, because it's not. So I do appreciate the fact that we're in a new year and we're getting a bit more firm, a bit more hard. Oh, and it's amazing that we're talking about being hard with the player that is Sandra. <laughs> We started just talking to each other, and then I said I was I was thinking about looking for a job. He said he had some things that I could have helped him out with. Since I had been looking for a job, he had a job for me. He supposedly owned his own company in North Carolina. Right, they all do. They were sending computers, brand new Apple computers to me. Right. To repackage and mail to someone else. And he said because I was doing that, he would get about $3,000 for it. So I did that. They're in big boxes. They're brand new computers, brand new Apple computers. Can I have one? Please? I'll do anything, Sandra. What do you mean by that? Send me a new computer. They were already wrapped. All I had to do was put them in another box and then take them to FedEx and mail them to a person in Actually, I think it was Richmond, Texas. Right, nothing weird about this. And that was it. No questions asked. I had my own FedEx account. Okay, great. Used my own money to do it. But nice. with that, he sent me a teddy bear and a dozen red roses and a wine card, gift card. <laughs> do you ever get paid for doing this job? No, I never got paid for that. I didn't ask much questions. I just did it because I was doing it for him. And what's your thought process with this? The computer's not getting paid. What are you thinking? 
I, I don't have an excuse. All I know is that I was doing it for him and it was for our future. I f Shut the hell up right now, Sandra. What future exactly? Because if you want this nice future together, you are making no money. He's given you a job that's not a job because you don't get money. You're volunteering in laundering of some kind. I don't know. I've never heard of this type of scam. But I don't understand the future here. Because you... I've said many times. You should never break yourself financially, mentally, physically for someone just because you love them because if you truly love them once you wither away right financially you can't eat no more mentally you're not in a good frame physically you're literally slumped in the chair you've withered away right how can you be there with your lover it doesn't make sense put yourself first i don't know if that's selfish or not but just put yourself first, even if you do love someone. He would give me part of the 3000 but he never did. Every and why is that? Every Sandra received from Michael would get sent to a woman in Texas. He would praise her every time she went to FedEx. The two would share love messages all through the day into the night. Then Michael informed Sandra that he wanted to begin a life with her. Of course. He wanted to meet up face to face. They always do Where this. Where does this go next? I was going to go visit him that fall. Two days before I was going to go visit him the end of September, he says, don't come. I've got somebody sending you a box of $5,000, and it's for the house that we're going to have in California. What it house came costs 5000 And it was a small box full of $5,000 cash. Right. I told one of my daughters, and they said, take it to the police, Mom. Yes. So I took it to the police. Oh. They thought he was money laundering and they wanted me to write down everything I'd ever done for that man. Right. Because they had told me after they looked at my three pages of what I wrote down about it. Three pages. That the FBI may want to talk to me. And they sat there and they counted that money out in front of me twice. When I got the 5,000 took it to the police, we didn't talk for about three months. So he got mad at you, right? He was, he was angry. Because I went to the police with his money and he Why was going to buy his house that? in California with that. So that wasn't enough to, to get you to cut this guy off. Wow. Apparently not. Well then done. Then he came back and we kept talking. <laughs> Great. So not only has your family told you, this is not good, go to the police. Not only has the police said to you, this is not good, stop it. We're going to get the FBI involved. You thought, mm, forget it. I need this man in my life. I love it when you when you send me illegal things and not talk to me for three months and then come back into my life. It's just, oh, it's it's a Hallmark movie come to life. Get this on a card. Dear lover, please send this money to the police. No. Oh, shut up. You just got $5,000 cash in the mail. Why do we keep going down this... Well, because I guess I loved him. Sandra's family stepped in and okay. made her go to the police. Hope. At this point, <laughs> the FBI was contacting her. A few months later, she unblocked Michael. He messaged her and she replied. Where's his picture gone? This man had even more tricks up his sleeve. Oh. He wanted to open up a joint banking account with Sandra. Then he opened an account at Wells Fargo in my name. And he had me buying Bitcoin. He would say, go buy $2,500 worth of Bitcoin today. So I would. He wanted me to send it to a lady in the UK. I'd say maybe at least 10000 or if not more. What's wrong with you? I, look, I want my, ah, ah, ah. There's nothing sexual going on right now. My ass is puckered up. Ah, but that's because you've cringed me the hell out, Sandra. Get a grip of yourself. I, I don't think I've said that in a long time, but get a grip of yourself. You understand? Why do you, after everything that's happened, now, first of all, he's opened a, a joint bank account in your name. You've never met this man. I don't, I, I don't think that's normal. 
and then you proceed to buy Bitcoin and once again send it to someone else, this time in a different country, across the pond, in my neck of the woods. Although some people, I've been told before, to leave this neck of the woods. You know, racism and stuff. So F you guys, if somehow you watching this have told me that before. The complete tangent, but get a grip of yourself, Sandra. There's so many red flags. Love, I'm, is, love is being painted in a bad light because none of this makes sense. If you love someone, in this case, if you love someone, let them go. It starts because they close the account. At that point, I was ready to just stop talking to him, period. Now. Because, you know, that could have got me in a lot of trouble. But for some reason, I just kept talking to him. What happens next? You need to I be arrested. I innocently gave him all of my information to my checking account. And he actually ended up putting two unemployment checks. He opened an account in my name and he said it was his money. How much money went to that account? I have no idea at the point because I didn't find out till later on um, on Social Security. So for a while there, I had my Social Security go into that account. Do you know, you can't even, you can't even be upset that he's taking your Social Security because you've literally opened your ass and that's an image you need to wipe straight away from your memory. But you've opened your ass and said, here you go, just have my account. What the hell, man? Which genuinely, what is wrong? I don't, I understand some people, they might have the loneliness at like level 100, right? But, oh my God. I've said before, some people need to have their accounts controlled by their family. Now that might open another can of worms and that itself might be a bad territory, but... Oh, bro, you can't get, oh, you can't say to someone like, yeah, can you like pew pew me and then say to them, well, you've pew pewed me. Why'd you do that? Bit of a crazy uh, example, but you, I look batshit crazy right now. Shut the f up. When I realized that he was getting into my money, I went to open an account in my name at another bank. I walked in the bank one day and the vice president was standing at the door and he says, how are you? I says, I'm fine. He says, what can we help you with today? And I said, uh, I need to do a wire transfer to my account. He says, what for? And I said, I don't know. I just need a wire transfer. I'm sorry, but what is going on in, in this stock foot, in this stock image right here? The, where is she looking exactly? AI for you, eh? And he said, could it have anything to do with that PPP loan? Well, apparently he had put my name in for a PPP loan and it came through. Holy And hell. I had no idea. And I lost that account of 39 years. And when was this? Two years ago. And you're still talking to Bro, him. how are they gonna help? Well. You're still talking, yeah? He had answers for all of that. Nah, 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 nah. How much money do you think that you've sent in total to this man? At least 5000 if not more. That's Where it. did it all come what? from? My social security. I actually sent in my rent check and my kids pay my rent three different times. In a row? Mm-hmm. You didn't get evicted? Well, why do you think I'm in Virginia now? Up until this point, Sandra lost multiple bank accounts. She was evicted from her home. The FBI was contacting her. Her family washed their hands with her. Michael was even stealing her social security checks. Bro. She's blocked him several times, but always seems to come yeah, back. But there's no good blocking I'm and then keep somebody going back. tell me who this guy is. Bro, I'm looking... at this point, I wouldn't even care about who the scammer is. Like... I want my money, I want my accounts back, like, this is, uh, you know, <laughs> me, this, this is, I, I don't know, I haven't watched them all, of course, because there's over a thousand, goodness gracious me, but this seems like one of the most aggressive scammers, like, 
it's not a lot of money, five grand, but I mean, if anyone wants to send me five grand, yeah, I'd be happy about that. But in comparison to others, it's relatively small, but he's just everything. He's going after it. Like, I mean, I have no words, Sandra. Infuriating that that if I was your your son, like, I'd see you later, mum, because you've ruined your own life. Closure. Either way, if he's real or he's fake, it doesn't matter because he's he's taking advantage of you. You understand that? See that that's the kind of firmness that they should have had ages ago. So I'm I'm glad to finally be seeing it. I guess. So what do you want me to do for you? I want to know if he's a Nigerian rebel. And what would happen? If I then? come back with Bree. The next time we sit down and I tell you, hey, this guy is a scammer, are you going to stop talking to him? Yep. So why why did you let it get here? Yes! You're... I don't know. But you're in love with him still. Um, yes and no. Get a grip he... of yourself. Look, he's laughing at you, Drew. If I, if you was here, right, I'd kiss you, my man. Well done. Finally, some... Hey, 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 yeah! Finally, some absolute just standing your ground and asking hard questions. Not, but do you love him? What are you planning to do later on? None of that shit. Oh, it's 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 a new year. It's a new Drew. Either you love somebody or you don't. There's no in between. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. And right now he's telling me that. He wanted to come home for Thanksgiving. He wanted eight hundred dollars to come back from France. I'm sorry. How much money and does this guy need? And he says he has need? five thousand dollars under his floorboard that he will give me my five thousand back that I sent to him. But I thought you've shipped so many computers, and he gets three grand per box. So now he doesn't have eight hundred dollars. And uh, move me to California so we can be together. But. Sandra, you're smarter than this, so Is no she? more, you know, sending her anything, no more computers, no... He's asking me for $97 to pay for his Wi-Fi because he's in France. So? so? Now he's saying that we need to be together. What does that mean? And I need to send him the money. Just give us some time. We'll 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 look into this. And... What does that mean? He, he needs $97 for his Wi-Fi bill because he's in France. I'm... What? <laughs> If he was somewhere else, he wouldn't need your money. Only French people pay for their Wi-Fi, apparently. See, you, you know, where it goes. That's fine. It took me four years to get here. Get a grip. We'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks. Now Sandra you... had put her trust into Michael's hands. Now you see why she I tie my hair. to the FBI or her family. All of the signs were there. She just didn't want to see them. The path she was going down was dark. We've seen countless people put behind bars for accepting money on behalf of someone they've Most met online. Most of them should be in We prison. have photos of who Michael claimed to be, pictures of his dog, what? his email and phone number she used to communicate with him. After running several searches, we felt we had enough to get through to her. If you think you're in a similar situation to Sandra, or maybe just want us to investigate someone you've met online, reach out to us at share my story at social I see any of you here. We can help find you answers about the person you fell in I'll love with online. The next day, we set up a call with Sandra. Michael was still requesting more money. He needed $800 for a plane ticket. Bree and I sat down with Sandra to hopefully break through to her. Hi, Sandy. How's it going? It could be better. Thank you. Gotta be positive, True. right? Got to. It could be worse. So are you ready for today? I guess. Yeah, as true. ready as I'm gonna get. What could is your deceased. goal for reaching out to us and just going through this whole process? I wanna know who I've wasted four years with. He supposedly wants me to send him $800 to fly here uh, from France and then go to California to his house and get his documents from his lawyer and go back to France. Shut the hell up right now. If he needs $800 for a plane ticket, 
he needs $97 for the Wi-Fi bill. What makes you think this is the man that's going to be able to take care of me? This is the man that's going to be able for us together to live comfortably. I am totally against going after someone for money, for the sake of just money, right? But Michael right now is not showing any signs of any financial stability. So whilst I respect you are probably envisioning this, I'm in it for the long run, let's hustle together kind of, once again, hallmark movie, right? It's get a grip of yourself, live in the real world. The FBI has contacted you. You've been banned from banks. You've been evicted from your home. He's essentially ruined your relationship with your family. What's making you go back to this guy after everything that you've, you've been chosen through? him over your kids? Um, well, if you have to think, I think it's more a habit. No, if you have to think that and long, is she someone to talk to? I do have feelings for him. That's the sad part. Sandra was still contemplating helping this man. We needed to stop this. She needed to understand well, that he was lying case. to her. There's no point. So we looked into everything you sent over to us, and we have answers for every bit of information. That's great. So starting with Michael's email address, we ran it through our email verification tool. In an email, we try to look for the activity. So if I ran a search on your email or my email, it would normally populate with home addresses, social media sites that we've signed up oh, for. Goodness. And this is called a digital footprint. Yep. And it's essentially the trail that you leave behind on the internet. So the thing about Michael's email is that we weren't able to find any information that supports that that email was used for anything besides talking to you. Okay. I have more for you though. Sure. So the next thing we looked into was the photos that he sent you, starting with the, the dog that he claimed was his dog. What Our name is Leo. Picture. Leo. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a nice looking dog. I wouldn't mind having a dog like that. It looks like so me. So we just Googled the words chocolate labradoodle and all of the pictures he sent you of Leo popped right up. I figured that much. Oh, is it? But what do you think about him lying to you, though? Once a liar, always a liar. And I've been used for four years. So we ran all of these small bits of information to support the bigger picture. It all ties back to what we found when we started to run his images through our reverse image search. His name is not Michael. The real man is a Turkish doctor. His oh. name is Tariq Saps. He's always the Turkish man. Yeah, name. he's a scammer. Who's That's scammer? what I wanted to know. Oh. Yeah. But his name's not Michael. Mm-hmm. And he's not stuck or, or asking people for money online. Well, he did me. Yeah, well. And he has his own life. He's never met you or, or spoken to you. Basically, this person, we'll call him Michael, he went on to Tariq's Instagram page and just stole all of his photos, created a profile, and that's all he's doing is just stealing the images. You're obviously attracted to this guy, right? Uh, not in the beginning. No, he's not my type of guy at all. Just looking at him back four years ago, and I just, it just wasn't my type of guy, but just talking to him was nice. So the point that I'm trying to make is, I mean, this guy in the images is pretty handsome, and... He's okay. He got better looking as it went. Okay, All right. that's fine. So, you know, let's he not looks start like criticizing a guy that's people's looks. Right? You can give him that. Yeah, he looked very confident in himself, and well, actually, he, he must know a lot about computers. <laughs> He's just a, a face that was used in this scam to get you to believe um, that this person named Michael was real. That's sad. Yeah, it's it sad that people use people that way. Um, just to impress someone else or steal for someone else or, you know, be a fake person. And you know what else is sad? It's sad that you, for some reason, I don't care about none of the talk that perhaps older people don't understand technology or that sometimes I see 
blah, blah, blah. No, it, you don't need to understand technology to not send someone who you've never met money. Not send someone Bitcoin. Not take and receive random packages of, of money, of computers that is your job, but you don't get paid for it. Not sure where the technology lies in any of that. Just, there's, I understand, right? Yeah, sure, feel a bit of sympathy, but they're stupid, bro. Just, it just, also what is sad, you chose your own scammer boyfriend instead of your kids. <laughs> and your kids actually supported you with rent, etc. But this man who claimed to love you and want you to be his wife didn't even lift a finger to send you any money. But the worst part is there's good people like you that got online and you're, you trusted this person. But unfortunately, there's so many bad guys on the internet that, you know, they take good people like you for granted. Exactly. But I'm done. I'm not going to be online. Being a good person. I mean, I have that doesn't mean here in my I don't know, man. new home that I do. So it's OK. I really want to figure out some ideas of how we can, you know, get you out of this cycle of, of going back to this guy over and over. Boredom Therapy. starts to set in. You see this message that pops up on your phone. You're not doing anything. You're hanging around at home. And, you know, it's it's like a drug addiction or a cigarette addiction or alcohol addiction. Like, mm -hmm. it, It's an addiction. I know. I know it's an, an addiction. And I've, about three months ago, I didn't talk to him for a month. And wow. it was great. Once I get away from him, I'm fine. No, that's but a then, lie. Um, for some reason, I went back and started talking to him. So it, it's OK. You're contradicting yourself here. Do you really think you're done with him, though? Um, yeah. yeah. No, you need therapy. He, he just wanted money, and that was it. He's a scammer. That told me that I'm nothing to him at all. He does not care about you. You're 100% right. It's time I ended it. Yeah, but... I mean, at least right now, my daughters are talking to me. That's good. It could be worse. Yeah, but it can also get better, though. Sandy, I think you should block him. I will. Yeah, but for Maybe real. he'll come back on something else. I'll just keep blocking him. Yeah. We'll help you change your emails, your passwords. We'll help you with everything. Yeah. And I think you That's... should burn your old phone. What? Uh... <laughs> Do you have a fireplace? Oh. I wish. Oh, no. What's going on here? We can figure out a way to get it burned. As much trouble as he's caused between my kids and I, uh, yeah, they would love to burn that phone. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he's gone. I was just waiting to see what, if you, if you found anything, and you did, and it's, it's like there's just nothing there. I mean, it's all, it was all a fake. The ongoing struggle to bring Michael back to the U.S. and convince her family that he was true drove Sandra to block and unblock this profile of Michael several times. In romance scams, it's crucial to cut off all communication and we started with her phone. Sending money to Michael had become a daily routine for her and we needed to break that cycle. The question now is whether Sandra is prepared to break free from this habit for good. Do you think she will? Let no. us know in the comment section below. I don't Share your you thoughts. Will. And I think it's great that you're doing this because some women out there would even deny it right now. But I yeah. think it's great what you're doing. And We've that's why seen I reached them. out to you, your whole team. But he's definitely out of my life and I'll burn the phone. I don't think there's a need to burn Good. the phone. Have some willpower, man. Good. <laughs> I will block him from this phone and anything else. Well, Sandy, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Bro, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, You're welcome, bye, Sandy. I don't think this is a. Job. Thank you. This is a suitable outcome. Bree and I took some time to jumpstart Sandra's 2024 the right way. She got a brand new phone with a new number, 
We created her a new email and right. advised her to delete all of her old accounts. She is now working on paying her family back the money she How? owes them and will check back in with her later on in the year. Well, that would, that would be good to actually see the, you know, the, uh, the follow up. But, bro, I don't know. Once it gets to this kind of stage where the FBI has been involved, your family don't like you, you've been evicted. I don't care about the location of the scammer at this point. I want my money back. I want my life to somehow come back to normal. So realistically, what did you get from this? Like, cool, you found out the scammer is... Well, you found out you've been scammed because I can't remember, which is concerning, I can't remember. And I've just forgotten already, but that... Oh! I can't remember if they mentioned where the scammer is, but... What did you gain from this? Like, like, literally, you found out you've been scammed, and that's it. Like, I could have told you that for free. So, I don't know. That, definitely one of the more infuriating, uh, perhaps not the, to, to the level of some of the other victims, but definitely, definitely a case of get a grip of yourself with capital letters all across. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the reaction, not the story, because that would make you a bit of a sick freak. Or I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. And if you do want to see yesterday's upload, go over here. Go over there. Do it. Pig butchering and stuff. Except there's no pigs. <laughs>